by the time I walked out of my marriage, it was not because at this as she said in the Achua and the Achua, because even after she said that, we were able to work through our marriage for one year. But it got to a point that... Welcome to Efax number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Now, for those who might have followed the story of Murugi Muni, that is formerly known as Yami Mami and also Nurse Judy, you do know that there was some cheating involved within this couple's marriages. Um, it was very complicated. Zach allegedly was cheating with Nas Judy and Zach's wife, that is Murugi Muni, was also alleged to be cheating with somebody else. And also Nas Judy's husband apparently was cheating on her with somebody else or had cheated on her with somebody else, which led her to have this relationship with Zach. So according to her, these are two people who were cheated on and then they found each other. Let's just say broken people. Anyway, at the end of it all, Murugi Muni and her husband worked out. And Nas Judy, on the other hand, with her husband did not work out. And according to Nurse Judy at that time, she did not want Zach and Murugi Muni to break up. And she did not expect that Murugi Muni will text her husband and instigate him to leave her. You know, for those who might not have followed what had happened, let me play just a small bit from Nurse Judy in her own words. And if you had missed her video where she did all the receipts, I'll link it somewhere as well so that you can catch up with everything in case you missed it. I don't know by now when they rekindled their whatever their love maybe amen and my mom share but that time he was still hiding things from from him again he didn't like the way yeah my mom used to overshare every little de details of their life so that used to make him feel like he wants to hide even investments or something to do with some of the finances from her so your time when they were going through those issues that cheat that society my mommy could cheat i remember me nilikuwa natetea ya mimi because first as a woman me nilikuwa nina nina feel the second one because me before to once but na to once kwa na cheating relationship na sak i was a fan so me nilitetea sana but for her the minute the screenshots landed Kwa mikono yake, all she did was send all of them, aki highlight, aki insight, aki sema, oh, don't take this respect, you should, hey, wow. But the most interesting thing is like, uh, the way she was just uh, gallivanting in radio stations, trying to deny stuff, to save her face and her marriage, but we all know she's living a lie. Even now, I'm sure she's struggling. Working through infidelity is not easy. I was there, and by the time I walked out of my marriage, it was not because at this as she said in the Achua and the Achua, because even after she said that, we were able to work through our marriage for one year, but it got to a point, the constant fight, the constant reminder of how I cheated. I was subjected to so, I was subjected to emotional pain for a long time throughout the year. Bakari Kasama, no, it's not worth my mental health. It's not worth it. And so the last time when I walked out, he did something bad in relation to this cheating story. And that's the minute I decided, you know what, I can't take this anymore. And I walked. Yeah, so I've seen people come in to tell me, oh, at Yulidani unaenda kwa ribu bomayake, but when do end up kuachua? It's not because she said in yacho and don't yacho, by the way. It's just because you were not able to, you know, people deal with infidelity differently. And let me tell you, in marriage, what I can be, any other challenge can be so easy to work through, but infidelity is a whole different thing. Like, and especially for men, for men it's hard because for like him, he, Yani, how could I imagine how I could ever cheat on him? My husband never imagined I would ever cheat on him. It came to him as a shock. And so what she shared is that her husband did not leave her because of the cheating. They had already tried to work out through the marriage within that year. But the constant, constant reminder of um, the cheating thing is what drew them apart. Anyway, so Nurse Judy ended up relocating to the United States. She has been educating people on, especially nurses. Let me just stick on nurses. She has been educating people on how to go through the process 
that is the application, the cost, everything broken down. For those who might want to relocate to the United States and they also want to take a career path that is nursing. Anyway, so she came to Tanzania. I believe that is where her family is. That is her ex or rather now not ex together with their children she was having a fantastic holiday with her kids and you could also see the father to her children also tagging along and the fans were not so sure until when she was leaving and she shared a video of a summary of how that holiday was and it ended up with her and her husband i'm not sure if they ever got divorced but giving each other a kiss and so many people were so excited for them and they wanted to know did they really get back to together because when it comes to co-parenting they have been co-parenting perfectly she has always spoken highly of the father to her children as well but this time around they seem to be very very close and so nurse judy confirmed yes they got back together and she also put out that god restores marriages she also shared several photos that is throwback photos of her and her husband back in the days and i want us to go through the statement that she put out confirming to her followers that they have actually decided to give their marriage another chance. So Nurse Judy wrote, Love will always win. God of second, third, and many chances can restore the broken. Last few days took me back to when we first started dating. We were so young, 18 and 23, and all we knew is we wanted to love each other forever. For so many years, that's exactly what we did. I remember holding hands literally to everywhere. Mpaka kununua kitungu pamoja. Nikipika mboga, anapika ugali. In our single room, Gara. And this continued for so long even after we we've had our kids we had always been a team and besties it was this type of rare real love that cannot be found in this era for seven years out of 11 we've been together i kept wondering wale watu husema marriage ni ngumu kwani walio akina nani because all i had experienced throughout was pure bliss until on the eighth year the major storms hit our home and we did not know how to ride through the waves we were only used to the petty makasiriko in marriage the one mnabembelezana you make up with a bang zigzaga and back to default beautiful setting where kumbe we never imagined our marriage could be tested in the worst way possible to a point of a whole year separation. We never knew forgiveness for each other would be something so hard because we always made it through anything. Well, as much as the separation was so hard and painful, I'm glad it helped us lose and find ourselves individually and so glad we never divorced officially on papers because see God. Okay, so as you can see, they never officially divorced. So she goes ahead to say the separation helped me learn so much about myself and the things that i needed to work on i gained so much insights about myself most of the times we focus on blaming each other pointing fingers instead of focusing on the part you played because i mean it takes two to break it same way it takes the two of you to put in the work and make it work letting go being apart and broken made me appreciate him and our kids together even more Duh, we both tried to move on, but I guess we were just lying to ourselves. Deep down, our hearts were still stuck with each other, even in the darkest times. Mpenzi, it's me and you till the end and with God at the center. Hashtag marriage works. Hashtag it needs teamwork though. Hashtag need God. Hashtag true love wins. And with that message, she shared several photos of their throwbacks when they started life together, um, family life, all that she did take to share with her fans with that particular message. And I uh, think uh, this is where people say that sometimes uh, love truly wins and it can get past anything, including infidelity, because this was a very complicated infidelity that even left many people stuck wagging. But as you can see, both couples, that is Murugi Mui and Zach, got through it. They seem to be very happy together, at least from what we get to see on social media. They seem to have put that past them, forgive each other, focus on their family and also focus on their marriage. And that is exactly what seems to be happening also for Nas Judy, who is also now putting out 
that her and her husband have also decided to give their love, their family, their marriage another chance. And when as Judy has also put out before that she's preparing to bring her kids to the United States, so probably also her husband will be relocating with them. From the holiday videos that she was sharing on social media, the kids seem to be very happy to be with their parents. So this is a win for the family as we can see. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also turn on your post notifications and notify once you have any new uploads, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.